What's going on guys? It's Shane. We are back here again with another video. Today we're going to be returning to Fish. Yes, you heard that correctly. We're back with our second video on this game. Uh, I think we have an Aurora Borealis on this server. I think that's what they're calling this. Uh, it's pretty cool. This is my first time being in one. I think uh, uh, I actually don't know what it does. I'm still fairly new to the game, but as you guys can see from the last video we did on this game, which was like two days ago, I am a way higher level. And let me tell you something. I had a 600, almost 700 fish streak, and I lost it, and I don't even know how, okay? I logged on, I was doing the uh, event, I was playing, then I logged off, I came back on, and I find out that my thing has been set back to, like, one. I'm like, what are you talking about? When did I lose my streak? I, don't, I know that's happening to some people out there. I don't, I don't understand it. Uh, some people are losing their streaks to rocks. I don't think that's fair. I think that's pretty stupid. And crates. I think it should only apply when it comes to fish, okay? That's just my two cents. But regardless, this video is about the fish radar and the relic rod, which you see I got on my back here. Yes, I completed it after some time. After some time, let me tell you. Regardless, let's do uh, blah, 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 blah. fish radar first, right? So let's disable it. So you might have noticed something, right? Let's, let's enable it again. Bam, look at that flounder thing right there. It just popped up on and off. So normally without it, you can't really see where fish are located. Turn it on. And we know that flounder like to uh, hang out right here, right? Now, here's the thing. This thing costs 8,000 credits. Now, I didn't buy that. If you guys remember my last video on this game, I bought the starter pack, and in that came this fish radar. So, I'm going to say this right off the bat. If you are early game, if you are stuck on this island, and you have not been to Roselip Bay, do not buy this. Do not buy this. It is a waste of money. That's 8,000. Go buy your steady rod, please. Um, but if you're mid-game, if you want to come back to this and you have a few, few credits to spend, go ahead and buy it. It's up to you. Um, I like to have it on simply because it looks very nice. It shows me where all the fish are, even though I kind of know where they are. And I'm going to get into that uh, right now. Um, so the thing is, if we come up here, because I can demonstrate it the best up here. Uh, as you can see, there are four different types. No, nope, three different types of fish that spawn up here. And I almost don't even want to say spawn because they don't spawn. It's RNG, right? Um, there's Three different fish that like to hang out in here. There's two others that like to hang out in here that aren't labeled here. Um, maybe even three. Um, but as you can see, it says pike right here, right? When I first got this fish radar, I thought that maybe if I were to leave the game and come back, that maybe this pike thing would say carp or goldfish. I thought it would change out. But the thing is, it doesn't change. And I find that a little unrealistic because fish like to move around. They don't like to stay in the same spot. Right. But the thing is, these all stay the same from what I'm understanding. So you're better off just watching this video and creating a mental mind map of where these fish like to hang out rather than buying this thing. But you're not going to want to do that every time. So like I said, if you have the credits, buy it. If you don't, don't buy it. <laughs> Even if you're like, oh, I just got 8,000. Let me buy this. Don't buy it. You need to be more like, uh, I just got 30,000. Let me buy it. So, but let me just show you guys so that uh, you, can, you can indeed catch pike here. You know, sometimes you'll catch something different, which is totally fine. I'm fine with that. I don't want it to be like, oh, let me go to this spot because I'm guaranteed to catch this fish. That's unrealistic, right? Obviously, there's going to be different fishes in different locations. But let's see if this actually works here. Might not be a pike. Might be a pike. Who knows? Let's see. Ah, it's a trout. Okay. So we do have trout up here in this little pond. So it's not 100%. If you throw your pole in here, you're not going to catch a goldfish, okay? I mean, you might catch one. Your odds are probably better, right? So that's just my two cents on the um, the fish radar. Uh, it does not... Um, it does not turn off when you, uh, like, take it out of your hand, which is pretty cool. I do like that. Um, also... Uh, we'll spawn in our boat. Actually, my boat's over here. Um, I want to show you guys that it does not only exist around the islands. Uh, you can find hot spots. Is, that's what I'm going to call them. Hot spots out in the ocean. Like over here, you'll see anchovies. Watch. Because it doesn't change. It just doesn't change. 
And I don't like that. That's the only downside to this I don't like. So anchovy, and then you'll see yellowfin tuna over here, I think. Is it yellowfin? Yeah, yellowfin right there, and then barracuda here. Um, so it's kind of cool if you're, like, new to the game and don't know where everything kind of is, I will admit. Um, it's also good for, I don't know if it actually works for event fish or not. It didn't work for this event. Um, if it does in the future, that's going to be a big thing for sure. Um, instead of having to rely on YouTube videos, you can pull out your radar and uh, find out where these event fish are. That's the thing that I don't know if, if, they're, if they do that or not. Um, regardless, that's the fish radar. If you guys want to buy it, buy it. If you don't, don't. Okay. Um, now, the relic rod. Look at that thing. It looks so cool. It really does. Visually, it's my best looking rod, considering I don't have any other rod other than the, the, the steady rod. Um, but let me tell you how long it took, okay? Now, I got... Uh, let me actually... Let's go to Phineas real quick, because I want to pull out the bestiary. And that's... I call it the bestiary, even though it's not spelt beast. It's spelled bestiary. I'm going to call it the bestiary because I think that's kind of what it is. You know, it's, it's a list of... You know, they should have called it uh, speciaries. No, that's stupid. <laughs> the speciary? That's actually not bad with the species. I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. Okay. Um, so for those of you who don't know and you're late, uh, this is where you'll come to uh, start your little uh, event, um, which is going to be ending soon, I think. So get on that. Um, so, so here's the beastier. As you can see, I've completed it, right? Now... Let me tell you what was the easiest to catch. These two mythicals, right? How is that going to be the easiest? It was literally the easiest. I caught both of these in under 30 minutes at um, um, Forsaken. Okay. Shark Fang and Spine Blade, those were the second easiest. And then the Claw Gill, Fossil Fan, uh, Barracuda Spine, those were also easy. And then the Spine Bone took a little time, but I got it. Now, the hardest things to do were these legendaries. This one you find at the uh, the Mushgrove um, Swamp, Nessie Spine, which took me the longest, and then the Spin fin, fin, sorry, <laughs> fine. Uh, you find that at the Snowcap, right? That one took a little while too, but I eventually got it. But Nessie Spine, that took forever. It took me a total of about six hours to get, which is unreasonably long amount uh, when you... When, it, when it's an RNG-based game, come on. It, it took way too long. Or it took longer than it should have, but... I eventually got it. And the way I got it was unbelievable. You won't believe this. So I'm out here, right? I'm, I'm throwing my pole out. And mind you, I'm doing this at Mushgrove, right? Um, I'm over here. I'm shaking. You know, I'm doing this for about five hours. Okay. And I'm like, I'm tired of doing this. Let me just throw the pole out there. Let me not shake the uh, button or whatever. Let me just pull out my phone and let it automatically catch a bite. The first time it does that, it's Nessie Spine. I'm like, what? So I'm wondering if... I had to do that the whole time. Probably not. That's just probably a coincidence. But, like, I'm over here shaking this button the whole time. And all I had to do was just let it sit out there. Come on. Come on. But I finally got it. And this thing was 8000 I thought it was going to be 2000 This thing costed 8000 Come on. That's that, for, for what it has, for the stats, it's not worth it. The only reason I got it was because it looks cool and because I hope it helps with the Megalodon thing, okay? Um, that's what I'm hoping for. Regardless, I'm happy to say that I completed this event or this sub event. It was, you know, this isn't the big event. This is kind of like, this, 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 this was their like quality of life update, right? Or whatever it was. Um, but yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to go over. I just wanted to showcase the uh, fish radar. And I wanted to tell you guys that I got the... Uh, the relic rod so i'm very happy about that um and uh, i also bought a few game passes i bought the two times xp and the sell anywhere which is awesome look at this sell inventory bam also if you're trying to sell your inventory and you can't seem to sell your mythicals i had, a, I had trouble with this it, it's down here you, you have to enable these now I wouldn't recommend auto selling your enchants or your exotic or your limiteds unless you know you really want to. But uh, yeah, so yeah, it's pretty cool. I I just needed help with that, so I figured if any of you guys bought it and don't know, I'm like, uh, why did I buy this and I can't even sell my mythics? Like, come on. But I've I've 
finally figured it out. But uh, yeah, uh, next rod I'm going for is the mythical rod. And as you can see, I'm getting real close. I think it's 110,000. I'll be there. I'll probably be there next video we do on this game. But other than that, um, let me know if you guys want to see more videos on this game. Hopefully, I was this was good enough to help you out. I don't know. Uh, there's always new players to the game, so I feel okay making this video about the fish radar. So, um, yeah, if you guys do wish to play this game yourself, um, it will be linked in the description down below. If you guys have any requests, any questions, let me know. I'll make a video on it. Uh, if you guys like the video, please like and subscribe. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.